So small sized multi-tools or keychain multi-tools or fifth pocket tools, they're very, very popular. And one of the most popular of all is the Leatherman Squirt, which has been discontinued, kind of without warning. And so it kind of leaves a void. What can we replace it with? Um, there have been many comparisons over the years between its uh, it and the Dime, but there are other options as well. So we're gonna run through some of those, some other ones that I just purchased and see if any of them, well, are going to fill that void. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when I first saw that the uh, Leatherman Squirt was discontinued, I was a bit surprised. It's one of their more popular tools. I think what really happened here is that they have something that eventually will come out, probably not even this year, but will replace it. It's just not as soon as they hoped. I think that's kind of what happened. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Maybe they never come up with anything else, which is why I think this video might help someone. And that's kind of why I'm doing it. I went ahead and purchased a couple more tools that I didn't have in my collection to see if they were worth looking at. The first one was the Roxon M2. Now this tool comes in at 4.2 ounces. So this is by no means a replacement for the two ounce Leatherman Squirt, not even close in size. The, the Squirt is closer in size to this, the Gerber Dime. This thing is more like a fifth pocket carry and is probably a bit more comparable to something like the Power Pint. So briefly, let's run through the tool set. So you have a liner locked 3CR blade. Eh. You have a package opener over here with a bottle opener on the bottom. A can opener, which I always think is really weird, especially on these small tools. Then you have a reamer, which makes no sense to me when you're on the outside like this, and it can easily collapse with just a small slip joint detent. No, thank you. And then on the other side, you have a file with nail cleaner and a Phillips. Now this, I'm gonna say is really nice. This is actually really well done. This Phillips just, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly the way it should be. They got something right on it for sure. And it also comes with a bit kit that lets you use four millimeter bits. And that's all included. So that's really cool. That, that part of it is really cool. It also has, and this is another really good design, they have a micro driver tucked in underneath the Phillips. Oh yeah, I dig that quite a bit. Now if I open this tool, we take a look at the pliers. Now these are significantly bigger than something like the squirt pliers, which are the same as these from the Style PS, but they're still quite a bit less of a plier head than, in my opinion, the SOG uh, PowerPoint. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, especially when it's heavier than the PowerPoint and a little bit bigger. Now, it wouldn't be a Roxxon if it didn't have the most obscene large scissor ever for its particular size. So this is one of the things that is kind of its claim to fame uh, with the Roxxon. And let's give you an example of how the scissors perform. So this is survivor cord, which has a bunch of extra strands, including uh, brass wire. And this has no trouble with it. And that's kind of what I expect from these scissors. However, they're still made of 3CR. They're gonna be soft. Just be aware of that. And they don't exactly have a precision tip either. The only thing left on this is gonna be the um, glass breaker on the, on the bottom. But you know, that's not really it. That's not really a consideration in my head. Exactly. I mean, anyway, I would say not only not comparable to the squirt, I would say it's just not even comparable to the power pint. So I would skip it personally. I think that this does not offer anything that I think is worth considering. Now, the other tool I picked up, which I really do like, is this this is from next tool it is called the mini captain now this thing runs about three ounces so we're an ounce heavier than the squirt so that's really on the edge probably not a keychain tool probably but nonetheless let's let's take a look and see what we got so first we have a can opener bottle opener combo that's interesting but i like i like that you get the extra leverage you have a pretty decent sized blade this is significantly bigger than what you would get on the leatherman squirt so that's something 
Uh, in fact, do I have my, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's just over an inch and a quarter. Inch, no, it's, so what am I saying? It's an inch and uh, three quarters. What am I saying? Almost a two inch blade, so that's not bad. Not that sharp though out of the box. I did test it. It comes with a really nice uh, Phillip, two dimensional Phillips actually. This one is actually really well formed. So they did a good job there. It has a lanyard ring. And then on the other side you have a flat head screwdriver. Now this is a narrower flat head than you will find on the Leatherman Squirt, but I don't have a problem with it per se. I did really enjoy the extra large flat head that they had on the squirt. So that is a little bit missed, but still not bad. And the cool thing is that the way these are formed, they kind of push in against the stopping point. So they're, and they're almost in line almost. So they're not going to be too bad. So fine. I'm with it so far. Now the scissors, where's the scissors? The scissors on this are actually pretty substantial. I was really surprised. They definitely buffed up these scissors quite a bit. Now, they do cut cleanly, but the problem I have with them is that uh, they're a little bit difficult. There's not a lot of leverage, and you don't have a large place to put your fingers. So just keep that in mind. But they do cut very well. They just don't have a sharp precision tip and uh, not a ton of leverage. But so far, pretty good, actually. And then the last thing being the pliers, which are a nice relative size to the rest of the frame and are approximately maybe a little bit bigger maybe depending on which direction you're looking at than the leatherman style ps aka the squirt so all in all this one this one gets a thumbs up for me um with the materials even and the price i think this is a reasonable consideration the one that is going to be most comparable to the squirt is going to be the dime this has been compared a billion times the squirt generally always won, but it doesn't matter if you can't get one. So everything that was said in those videos is still true. My biggest qualms with this thing is that I don't like that they put the file on the driver, which gives it weak points. And uh, yeah, I don't need the bottle opener personally, but it does have a tweezer, which the squirt doesn't have. And it also had the package opener, which I love. I love this thing. In fact, they probably could have done away with the blade entirely, in my opinion which it does have a blade as well. I think I would have had, rather had the package opener and a full-size file, but that's just me. So yeah, the squirt. I'm sorry, the dime is another good, good tool. Now, another really good tool, which I've already done a, a video on, is this. This is the mini flagship. Now this thing comes in just under three ounces, 2.8. In fact, it's lighter than the Captain, the mini Captain probably because of all the uh, places they've removed material. But the thing about this is this has some serious scissors. These are no joke, these scissors. Let me get, let me get this out of the way. So check this out. No problem, this scissor is serious. For something so small, this is a very, very good scissor. My only qualm with this, of course, is going to be quality control. That seems to be a consistent issue with these. But if you get a good one, they can be very, very, very useful. The other thing that I saw that was a failure point is some of these tabs, if they're not properly heat treated, they've been, I've seen them snapped off. So just be aware of that. But for the price, and if you get a good one, I think this is one of the better options out there. It's just a little bit too heavy to really compare. Do I have anything else? Okay, well, I guess we might as well talk about the Leatherman Style PS. This is the tool that I own multiples of. And it is the tool that I think most competes with the Squirt or would have had it not been discontinued. The thing about this though, is this is half an ounce lighter than the Squirt was. And it has a carabiner, so it's easy to connect and disconnect from your keys. I like that quite a bit. It also has a tweezer, which the squirt didn't have. And uh, yeah, it does have a scissor. It has a longer flathead two-dimensional Phillips and file. And it has, of course, the pliers. What it doesn't have is a blade. So technically, 
this is a travel friendly multi tool. Now I'm actually going to test this when I go to Blade Show and see if they actually let me through with a style PS. We'll find out at that point. But I really, really like this tool. Not only that, but it's one of the few tools I could hand to an eight year old and uh, not be too concerned. Any of the injuries would be relatively minor, if at all. And so I really do like this tool and it still has that 25 year warranty. The issue is the same with this tool as it was with the squirt though. And that is the um, bad heat treatment of the spring. See mine sheared right off. In fact, I pulled this out of, I don't remember where it was, but it had a spring just kind of floating in there, just fell right out. Just a bad heat treatment on these, on these springs. And I'm imagining that's part of the reason that they discontinued them. Maybe they had to go through that stock and it continually cost them money when they were doing warranty repairs. But yeah, th this is still a good tool. And because it has that 25 year warranty, I could still absolutely recommend it. So these four were in good shape so far. Here's where things kind of end though. That's pretty much all I could find that is a reasonable comparison that has both a plier and a scissor. And I think those are two major components of the squirt that you have to have. There are some tools out there like the Micra that do not have pliers, which are still really good. In fact, I think that the uh, SOG snippet is substantially better than the um, Micra, in my opinion. The cutting performance on these scissors is, well, let me show you. So clean, so good, and I, the precision tip on this, it actually cuts all the way out to the tip. I wonder if I could do it with this. We'll see. Almost. I can almost cut, cut it cleanly all the way out to the tip on paracord. This thing is so good. It's just a little uncomfortable with these little hooked ends. It doesn't have spring-loaded uh, scissors, but the scissors can be adjusted, which I really, really like. So you can also take this apart sharpen the blades independently and put it back together if you want. You can, yeah, it's just actually a very solid tool and it has a pocket clip which some Micra does not have. So separate, but still good. And I think this comes in about two ounces. Yeah, almost exactly two ounces. So that's actually comparable in weight. What else? Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's where we're ending as far as the keychain-esque tools. The rest are all more like fifth pocket oriented tools. So the, the PowerPoint, which I think is quite good. I, it's actually one, probably the only SOG other than the snippet that I really like, believe it or not. And then, uh, oh wait, no, I, I did miss one. I'm sorry, I did miss one. And this is still a fifth pocket carry, but it is a really surprisingly well thought out one, at least as far as the plier is concerned. So this is substantial. These pliers are absolutely no joke. Let me show you an example. There are a lot of metal around the plier head for this. And I, I'm, I love the way this functions. And because of its shape, it is a perfect fit for that fifth pocket of a pair of jeans. Very, very similar to the thick, to the um, dimensions of a Zippo. And if you look at it compared to the PowerPoint, it is probably half the width, eh, close to half the width, not including the button that does jut out a little bit. Really cool. Now this particular model, the Sync Travel, actually has a scissor, but it has been discontinued, of course. That seems to be a consistent problem and I don't understand it. That same thing was true with the Dime Travel, which doesn't have a blade. I don't get it. I, I, I think these make a lot more sense. These kind of travel-esque tools make far more sense than having that dinky little blade, which is more likely to injure me than to help me in a given situation. I, yeah, I don't like them because they're super small. You tend to push too hard, something slips, and then all of a sudden you've just cut through your finger. Not happy with those. I'm not a big fan. I'm not even a big fan of those little knife blades on the 58 millimeter Victorinox either. So it's not just these, it's also those other tools. At least with the something like the PowerPoint, you have a locking blade. Can I get that out one handed? I can't. You have a locking blade, so I'm less concerned. So pretty, pretty much the, the right way to do it, just in my opinion. 
And at some point, you get to you get to a size where you're either going with something like the Deluxe Tinker, which is about 4.3, 4.3 to 4.5 ounces, and then right above that, you have something like the Leatherman um, Skeletool. There, it's a weird size. I think that the Squirt really had the market, and I don't know why they discontinued it. It just doesn't. Anyway, I just. I just, I think what happened is they had something in mind. It didn't come as fast as they liked. And so one went out of stock before the other one came back. That's what I think happened. I, I could be wrong, but I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, you know, they probably had something in mind because it was a good high selling tool for them. I don't know if their margins were great on it, but it, it did sell and it sold very, very well. In fact, if you look at the secondary market right now, for used Leatherman squirts, they're like $60. Used. Okay? So, uh, clearly a loved tool that they should consider bringing back in some form or another. So, let me know. Dude, was this helpful in any way? Did you find something that maybe will give you some solace in the fact that you have some options? That's it for today. And we'll talk again soon.